So, uh, let, let us start first with uh, particularly those who do not have a background understanding of Ayurveda. Let me say what Ayurveda means. Ayurveda is made up of, it is a Sanskrit word, it is made up of two words, Ayu, Veda. And Veda means knowledge or we can say science and Ayu means lifespan. This particular subject of, uh, of a menopause is particularly related to a phase of life. We will go into detail of that later. One of the very unique approach and principle that Ayurveda gives is the belief that as is the microcosm, so is the macrocosm. So, which means Ayurveda says that the smaller than the smallest as a cell in our body is completely part of this whole physiology. We cannot isolate or separate one part like if a liver has a problem, then we only think about liver. Liver has a problem, the whole body has one or another symptoms and effects. So, as is the microcosm, so is the macrocosm. Now, when I say that, then we have to understand there is should be some common basis in terms of constitution, in terms of what we are made up of and what the whole macrocosm is made up of. <coughs> so, at physical level, Ayurveda says that everything in the world is made up of five elements. And we can take anything, we can take fruits, vegetables, human being, plants, animals, weathers, everything is basically it can be understood in terms of five elements. So, the next thing is what are those five elements and what is the basis of that. So, the five elements are explained more taking from the gross element to subtle element. So, the grossest element is what makes, what is the stuff that everything is made up of like this computer, this table, what or our body made up of uh, proteins, carbohydrates, fats, bones, muscles, tendons, etcetera, etcetera. So, all of that is we can understand as earth element. So, everything that makes us is called earth element. Now, second element is called water element. So, just for the sake of example, we can say, say if we have clay powder, which is the stuff that we make, and if you have to create a cup from it or some, uh, some say toy from it, then what do we need in, in that uh, clay powder? What do we need in that clay powder? I, I would put some water so some it water. can stick together. Exactly. <laughs> so, this is the important point here. So, the water element, we do not literally understand as of water, water that we drink, but it is more the element that binds, that sticks things together. So, we can understand that this even better that what happens say at age of 50, 55 where hair start falling, gum receding, the skin starts becoming loose. Why that happens? Because of this water element or body's ability to to re-moisturize, rehydrate as it was doing from the age of 20 to 40, now that is becoming less and that is why these things are happening. So, that is significant water element or we can say ability to bind things together or we can say rehydrate or re-moisturize. That is why we need so, so much of moisturizers that, moisturizers that we use, moisturizing cream and all those things. So, that is the significance of water element. Third, th third element now, if we say we have created a cup, now that cup may not be uh, strong if it falls to completely break down. So, how do we make that particular cup strong or a toy strong? We expose it to fire so that that binding now becomes even closer. In, in, in our physiology what happens? We eat the food and that food, all of us might eat the same food but then that food converts into what we look like. So, that means it is not the food that decides what it has to become after it goes into the body. It is the internal fire with the memory of self converts the same food in an animal like animal, in, a, in me like me, in you like you. That is very great. So, I like the image. Right. Yeah. So, that is the fire element that means it cooks and converts and transforms into what we are. And that is why it is very important that the fire element is balanced and, and works perfectly until the late age. So, we can see that some examples people give that around 50, 55 say, oh, I have been able to eat and digest all these foods 
very well, no problem, no digestive issues and now I am eating the same food and I am having sometimes gas, bloating, constipation. What is happening is this fire element is going down. Now, going down by age does not mean that we have to suffer after some age. The only signal there from nature is we have to adapt according to changes that are coming so that we can stay healthy as good as when we were 25 or 30. The signal is not that once we are 50 means we have to have all these kinds of aging symptoms. No, Ayurveda does not believe in that. Mm -hmm. Ayurveda believes that have information of what are the changes that are naturally coming and adapt your diet and lifestyle according to that to enhance your immunity, your vitality, your look, your skin quality, everything. Okay. and intelligent. So, that was the third element, fire element. Then what happens, say we have taken the food and with the help of enzymes, we have broken it down in the small intestine. Now, it is like a liquid form, all complex uh, you know, protein that we have eaten, car carbohydrate and fat and everything, now it is in the liquid form. Now, the next thing what is happen, what need to happen? It has to get absorbed through the gut, go into the blood and then blood has to go into the heart and pump it and through that pumping it will reach to each and every cell and tissue of the body to nourish them. Isn't so, it smart, eh? Yes. <laughs> so, all of this, this, this absorption, uh, circulation and then going and nourishing, transportation and then taking the consumable which means nutrients and disposing what is disposable which means waste product. All this movement we need another separate distinct element and that is called air. It's like we blow right. on everything. So right. it goes right. So, all the air element in our body is like nervous system because it is a sensing mechanism. Circulation, elimination, all of that we can see as air element. Okay. And the last element, most important one, like say if we have this whole space, and in this space, then we create the wall and then we create a space for a specific reason like say this is the reception room, then there is a kitchen. So, by, by dividing the space and then constructing it according to specific use of it, we can use that space. But if there is some blockage in between, then the flow of energy or in the body flow of nutrients mm -hmm. is or flow of waste products is obstructed. So, we can see that how ma many diseases occur just because of blockage and blo what is blocked is the space. So, say artery leading to heart, if that is blocked, then even everything else is fine, but just because of the blockage, heart will stop functioning. Mm -hmm. And the same thing is in all other macro and micro channels, they have to be clear, so unobstructed so that all the flow of information, nutrients, waste products is effortless. And we can see it in the traffic. And we can see <laughs> in the traffic. So, that is why we can see that how the space element is also important. So, these are five fundamental elements that are important yeah. and balance of these five elements is health and imbalance of any one of them is sickness and whichever one is out of balance then the sickness will also be according to that. Say if the fire element is too much, then there will be too much heat, then there will be inflammation, burn, redness, those kinds of things. And if say earth element is more, so then those who have more earth element means more stuff, means more weight, so they will have easy tendency to gain weight mm -hmm. and difficult to lose it. Mm 